The following video comprises the applicant's presentation for the upcoming Site Plan Review Committee meeting number one for the Wells Fargo and Verizon site located at 3140 Washington Boulevard and 1025 North Irving Street. My name is Greg Van Wee and I am a Senior Vice President with Jefferson Apartment Group, one of the co-developers of the proposed project along with Ackridge. In this video, you will hear from two of our other project team members, Stefano Sani with our architect Hickok Cole and Sarah Mariska, Land Use Counsel with Odin, Feldman, and Pittleman, who will provide updates on the site on the specific changes to the project's design that we have made in response to comments provided during the recent online engagement opportunity. Before passing it up, before passing it off to them, however, I also wanted to briefly mention two other important project stakeholders who will be participating in the SPRC process and will play a critical role in the successful redevelopment of the site. Wells Fargo and Verizon own the two parcels that make up the development opportunity in this application and are long-term members of the business community in Arlington. Both have agreed to make underutilized portions of their property available for redevelopment in furtherance of the goals of the Clarendon Sector Plan. However, both companies will also retain ownership of significant portions of their respective properties and intend to continue to operate their businesses on site into the foreseeable future. As such, both companies are intimately involved in the planning and design of the proposed project in order to achieve their long-term business objectives. First and foremost of which is to maintain continuous operations on site in order to sustain the critical services they provide to the Arlington community. In the case of Verizon, that is the significant telecommunications operations housed in their existing communications center, the original Chesapeake and Potomac switching station including 911 service and a major share of the phone and internet traffic for North Arlington. In the case of Wells Fargo, that is the comprehensive suite of banking services, including in-person and drive through options, supporting Clarendon and other nearby residential neighborhoods. Representatives from both companies will be available during the SPRC sessions to answer any questions and provide additional context for their current and future operations and objectives on site. On this slide, you will find a list of the major changes we have made to the project design in response to the comments we received from county staff and the community during the online engagement session. Many of the comments focused on the design of the ground plane or streetscape surrounding the proposed building, including its relationship to the future Irving Street Plaza and the nature of the new segment of Tenth Road North that will provide a connection between North Hudson and North Irving Street. The Clarendon Sector Plan and the zoning requirements or the site and building design dictate much of our team's approach to the project's frontages on Washington Boulevard, North Hudson Street, and the future Irving Street Plaza, leaving the new segment of 10th Road to accommodate all of the service needs of the building, including parking, loading, and trash, as well as significant utility infrastructure for stormwater management and the incoming electric service from Dominion, Dominion Energy, as well as the drive up ATM that is critical to the functionality of the new Wells Fargo Bank branch which also has the potential to serve as a pickup drop-off location for future retail users. All of which combined create competing priorities for the space along 10th Road, which we have done our best to accommodate while also providing an attractive and functional streetscape design that facilitates pedestrian and other non-vehicular movement across the site. That said, we have incorporated specific design changes to address comments about the building's relationship to the surrounding public space such as by adding trees and shifting the location of the drive up APTM, modifying the landscape hardscape treatment adjacent to the Irving Street Plaza, adding a new secondary entrance to the bank branch facing the plaza, and removing trees on Washington Boulevard to accommodate the desired bike lane configuration at Clarendon Circle. In addition, we have added a pickup drop off layby in front of the residential lobby on North Hudson Street and added screening around the small Verizon parking lot at the corner of North Hudson and the new 10th Road. We have also added or adjusted the location of several building entrances to comply with the relevant zoning requirements and redesigned the below grade garage to avoid conflicts with adjacent existing buildings, buildings and utilities. Lastly, we have provided additional information on potential, potential options to enhance or screen the existing Verizon building that will remain south of 10th Road North. I will now hand it off to Stefano to provide additional details on the specific changes on the following slides. Thank you, Greg. 
My name is uh, Stefano Sani. I am design director with Hickok Cole and uh, lead designer for this exciting project. I will present today a sequence of floor plans and 3D views to illustrate the proposed modifications. Starting with this image, we can see the overall configuration of the first floor uh, with the office and the residential lobbies, the retail and uh, uh, the service areas with the parking access. We can also see the modified concept for the site in general, which has been developed to improve the overall quality of the project. In the next slides, we will review in detail the specific areas that have been modified. This image highlights the modifications that have been adopted for the configuration of the sidewalks and for the landscaping in general. Starting from the upper left corner, the landscaping has been modified to accommodate the bike path, replacing a portion of the planters with a hardscape configuration. Just south of this area, along the east elevation of the proposed building, the landscaping has been improved with the addition of four raised planters and an equivalent number of trees. Moving to the south, 10th Road has been modified to increase the pedestrian quality by shifting the drive up ATM to the right. Later in the last part of the presentation, we will cover this uh, proposed modification more in detail. The other two parts that have been modified in this uh, site plan are uh, more about uh, North uh, Hudson uh, Street and specifically the addition of a brick uh, screen wall to uh, indeed uh, screen the cars of the uh, surface uh, parking of uh, Verizon. The brick wall will go around the corner and will be complemented by a green planter and a tree. Uh, along the um, east elevation of the uh, proposed uh, building in front of the residential lobby, we uh, propose the introduction of a new lay-by uh, to uh, minimize the risk of congestion of traffic due to deliveries, pickups and drop-offs. In the next image, we see how a revisitation of the uh, configuration of the entrances will allow a better activation of the street frontages. Specifically, on the west elevation of the proposed building, where the bank is going to be relocated, has been added a second door in the middle of the uh, elevation itself, which will allow a more direct relationship with the proposed uh, plaza. To the north elevation, instead along Washington Boulevard, a second entrance has been added to the main retail tenant, and then uh, the entrance uh, proposed initially for the other retail tenant has been uh, relocated to optimize the distribution of the doors entire, uh, throughout the entire uh, frontage. The overall configuration now has a, a certainly better balanced distribution of the doors and uh, achieving uh, so a proper amount of activation of the, of the streets. To continue with our presentation, we look now at a, a, an important change, which is less visible, but still very meaningful. And it is the reduction of the footprint of the below grade parking structure. As we can see, the original concept was anticipating to uh, extend the footprint of the parking structure below grade all the way against the existing uh, Verizon building uh, north uh, elevation. Uh, the proposed change instead pushes that uh, edge of the parking structure away from the existing Verizon building to align it with the south elevation of the proposed loading areas. Uh, this will uh, certainly reduce the impact of excavation, will also minimize any potential uh, repercussions on the existing buildings, as well as facilitate the uh, integration of utilities along 10th Road and the um, improvements that have been proposed for the landscaping. 
Now we can see the uh, 3D views that illustrate uh, the uh, updated concept for the building. The overall architecture is consistent with the, the concept that we have presented so far. We can see on this image from Central Park how the uh, modified uh, hardscape configuration in front of the northwest corner of the building along Washington Boulevard will facilitate the um, use of the sidewalk for the bike path and at the same time will complement that with a, a meaningful presence of landscaping to the uh, left of that corner but also to the right of that corner with the introduction of those new four planters that we mentioned before along uh, with the four uh, trees this will then be complemented by the future uh, construction of the plaza which is currently being designed uh, we just look at this image very quickly, but this will be covered more in detail in the last part of the presentation. And then we can go instead to the next image, which is a view along 10th Road taken from North Hudson Street, looking west. So we can see in the foreground on the left the presence of the new uh, brick uh, wall, which will uh, in part screen the cars in the parking uh, lot, but also the uh, height of the wall has been fine-tuned to still preserve a, a visibility uh, a, around the corner for the pedestrian um, flow. Uh, on the right we can see the lobby with the design accents and we can also see how the loading uh, portion expression has been uh, reduced in terms of visit visibility thanks to the modification that we have uh, anticipated before when we have basically shifted the drive up uh, ATM to the right by modifying the footprint of the loading dock. So this has also allowed to hide the second uh, loading um, dock uh, behind the articulation of the facade and instead favor the visibility of the commercial uh, storefronts. In the next image, we uh, look instead at what could be a possible approach uh, to uh, improve the existing uh, brick uh, wall along the north elevation of the Verizon building. Uh, the intent is to uh, adopt an artistic uh, uh, treatment of the uh, brick facade with a mural uh, which could be inspired by a theme of geometrical motifs uh, somehow um, uh, inherent uh, to the uh, art deco architecture of the existing uh, building. In the next image we can see instead the concept which is being developed uh, for the potential installation of uh, a, a set of new equipment uh, above that level on the Verizon uh, building, which will be screened by a concept of uh, metal mesh uh, paneling. And with this, this is the uh, last uh, slide for this part of the presentation, and we will uh, now complete the presentation itself with Sarah, who will present the proposed modifications uh, for 10th Road North. Thank you for your attention. Hi, I'm Shane McLaughlin. I'm the Region Bank Director for Wells Fargo for Northern Virginia, and I've been working for the, with the Clarendon branch for over 11 years. As you know, we've been in the Clarendon market for a very long time, and we so much look forward to the redevelopment of the area and our branch to better serve the people of Arlington, the people of Clarendon, and Wells Fargo. Thank you very much for your consideration. Thank you to Greg and Stefano for walking through some of the plan changes that have been made. My name is Sarah Mariska, I'm a land use attorney with Odin Feldman and Pittleman, and I'm here to address the configuration of the drive up ATM. Wells Fargo has long contemplated how to modernize this site in keeping with the recommendations in the Clarendon Sector Plan. They are pleased to be working with Jefferson Apartment Group to make this redevelopment a reality. As with all redevelopment efforts, there are many considerations that have been important in determining the land use mix and site design for this project. This site has been improved with the drive through bank since 1973. There are currently three full service drive through lanes on the site. In recognition of longstanding Arlington County planning principles, Wells Fargo has eliminated the full service drive through lanes, even though several other banks in the Roslyn-Boston corridor continue to offer this service. 
Given the desirability and value of offering a drive through the county's opposition to drive through efforts has the effect of precluding or significantly delaying redevelopment efforts across the county. Instead of simply dismissing a drive through configuration out of hand, we urge you to consider accommodating a modified drive-up ATM. Wells Fargo is committed to working collaboratively to configure the service in a way that continues to honor the county's planning goals while also ensuring that a long-standing Arlington business can remain viable and provide a desired customer service. In lieu of the existing auto-oriented configuration, the drive-up ATM has been tucked in the rear of the building. This service is important to the bank's business, desired by customers as revealed through customer surveys, and become an even more necessary service in a post-COVID reality. The drive-up ATM has been shifted centrally to the rear of the building along the new 10th Road North, which co-locates it with other service functions. The ATM has been located to allow cars to queue and trees have been added to further soften the appearance. The location of the drive through is, is similar, but an improvement over the configuration of the postal drop box directly east of the site, given the addition of trees and generous sidewalk, sidewalks that surround the drive up ATM. The drive up has been shifted away from the Irving Street Plaza. Jogs on the sidewalk have been softened to ensure that pedestrians continue to have multiple travel options, and the north south pedestrian routes to the Clarendon Metro Station continue to be prioritized in the scheme. In working with Jefferson Apartment Group, Wells Fargo has noted that they are amenable to using the drive-up ATM for short-term drop-offs that may be beneficial for other tenants in the building. Wells Fargo understands the importance of pedestrian movements and access to transit in this corridor, but urges flexibility to balance business needs with county policies. <laughs>